Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Washington State Cougars and the Oregon Ducks. Number 10 is the player we're focusing on in this game tonight. He works extremely hard on defense, Brad. He denies the ball. He challenges all shots, and he boxes out. He's really a coach's dream. The Ducks will certainly want to take advantage of his presence on the floor. The Ducks might be looking at the fight of the season tonight. Dick, any particular keys to victory for them? For them to win tonight, the keys are as follows. First of all, it's up to the point guard to be the leader, to control the entire tempo of the game. Second, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. Finally, play as a five-man unit defensively. Have rhythm. Be ready to rotate. Help one another on penetration. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Dumps it in for two. Can't get the shot to go. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Get that good spacing. Shiver fakes the shot. Hard foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Trying to go inside. Bell received. He rejects it. Poor job on the offensive end. Great job defensively rotating to the basketball. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Dick at defense looks tired. Hey, that's no excuse. They've got to dig down deep and get the job done. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. The small forward handles the feed from left of the circle. Hey, kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. They look to get it to the inside. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. The skip pass is picked off. There's a slam. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. The center receives the ball. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Trying to feed inside. Fakes it. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Lobs it inside. Tries for two. Up, easy one. They'll work it around the arc. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. the deuce and they'll send him to the line he's a meat and potatoes kind of guy brad was the made basket the meat or the potato stick hey that was the meat and the potatoes now he's going to the line for the gravy he makes it a 
On the outside, Duffy handles the pass. That's a high post screen, goes to the lane. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. For two, Washington State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. On the inside. Double team now, bad angle. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position in spreading his body and getting the ball. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Oh, yes. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Drops the bucket despite the harm. Come with a double team to stop it. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Both teams looking to get things going here. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here on transition, Brad. And a slam. defensively the ball goes out of bounds high post flashes for the opportunity he attempts the trifecta way off target around the perimeter. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. Oh, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the first player. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. The student section looks like they're having a great time. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Up and inside. There's the trap. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. There's a double team waiting there. 10 seconds showing on the shot clock. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He unloads, way off target. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. The ball goes out of play. Is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Here's a flash from the post up high. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He comes away with it. They get out on the break. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket.
dribble, gives it up. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Anytime now, boys. Kicks it out. Got a wide open look. Let's it fly. That was nice. is animated and ready to go. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Goes. Yeah, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Show me that one again. Gave it up. the rejection the pit is going absolutely berserk here's the toss back out from the post I tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer he hits a bullseye again and he's feeling it from everywhere baby there's a bad pass right to the defender High post flashes for the ball handler. On the dribble, gives it up. For two, it sticks. Both teams looking to get things going here. Picks off the pass. They work the perimeter. Takes it off him. Now it comes the other way. Goes up for two. Makes the shot. The Cougars have a player spotting up on the three. He up fakes. For the bucket. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Gave it up. They're pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense, poor job defensively. Don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. On the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Picked off. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. On the dribble, gives it up. Controlling the ball. Taken away. And back they come the other way. Takes the pass in the paint. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. A double team. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Oh, 
Here we go on the break. In the paint. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Stolen away. Defense got it after knocking it loose. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that mascot looks like a lost puppy dog, Nick. I'll tell you, the mascot's so sad and reflects their play. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Going to eliminate those turnovers. first dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but that one's blocked from behind great rotation by the team i love it if you want to know how aggressive a team is you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line that's a great indicator. Good. On the inside. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure on the basketball. Takes the pass in the paint. With a deep shot from outside. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Gave it up. Up and inside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. And a momentary look from three-point land. Jumps into the defender. Jumped in front to take it away. They'll work it around the arc. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Washington State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the three. Off the rim and no good. The lane. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Working it around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Trying to draw some contact. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Double team now, bad angle. For three, way off target. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Looks at a three, drains it. Put 
Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They work it around the perimeter. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. He's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. It is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. Time to pick up the defense here now. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. job defensively fronting it. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. three-point land. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Shot clock is dead. On the outside. He shoots from right of the circle. There was no doubt about that one. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Spencer makes a group. The layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop, knowing he was going to get fouled. The Ducks will step to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. From way downtown. The shot won't fall. At the half, the Cougars lead by six. Nick, what would you say is the play of the half in this tightly knit affair? Watch some of the great inside work in the first half, Brad. The trick is whether or not they can keep going inside like that in the second half. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. Oregon has a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them have in the first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, Focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? I would run him off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have him pop out to shoot that trifecta. Looking for a good shot. Entry pass in the paint. And he scores despite the hack. Gave it up. He puts up the three ball. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. He makes a nice shot fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. 
That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. For two, perfectly executed. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He blocks the shot. Nice rotation over. He makes the block. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick has that backcourt comparison shaping up even. Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Bender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Goes up for two. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. Take that to the basket. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play. You got a chance to really to win. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Gives it up. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. The ball goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. For two, nice shot. There's the trap. He takes it away. three-point land. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Has a nice look at the basket. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Goes up for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Dump it inside. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. but so is his coach. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off. He 
missed it. Nice rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. There's a double team waiting there. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. That's offensive efficiency at its best. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. He puts up the tray. Oh, yes. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and I'll see what happens. Look at that spacing. Way out on top, controlling the ball. From right in the circle, nails the long range bomb. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Steals a pass. The ball handler might be in trouble here. He shoots from the top of the key, and he can't hit the shot. right there trying to play that passing lane anticipating really well he drains the bucket great defense they've got a three-point shooter spotting up gave it up here's the toss back out from the post I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer Checking courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. All right, thanks, Aaron. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Washington State are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basket. Whistle blown, basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. What I call a celebration, Nick. Oh, Brad, look at that. He's showing the mascot a little love. <laughs> hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Good spacing. On the outside. 
Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Fast break opportunity here. The dunk and one. Great job of going up strong through the contact, baby. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. He takes it away. Got a guy right on it from the top of the key. Way off target. Now they work it around the perimeter. Intercepted. He draws a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Skills, Brad. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Come with a double team to stop it. Perfectly executed. Takes away the pass. Had a momentary look from three point land. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Goes up for two. You betcha. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. That deserves an encore. Let's watch it here. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Looking for a good shot. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Steals the ball. Looking for a good shot. Got some room. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. On the outside. Sets the screen for his teammate. Intercepted. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. He's got a three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of close position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Oregon have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He takes the three, brings the shot. That's a seven-zip run. Oh, 
work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Here they go into the break. Got a man in high post for two. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. He makes the block. The point guard gets the ball. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. That's a great spin move for the basket. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. And the ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. pass in the paint number 34 with the fake tries for two basket falls despite the contact they work the perimeter fronts him first dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and he made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so we're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us here's the toss back out from the post i tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer he shoots from outside rims out Jumped in front to take it away. He shoots from the top of the circle. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. For the deuce, drops the bucket despite the harm. Hey, Brown, a stop here will definitely raise the decimal level. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. He comes away with it. Dick, this crowd will go silly if they can get some points this trip. Picked off. Pushes it up. Goes up for two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots. Off the rim and no good. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. He intercepts it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He gives him the fake. Set that screen away. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. And 
Robinson. Momentary look from three-point land. The point guard gets the pass. He tries the three ball. Rims out. Fires away. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Dickie's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Here it is. Steals the pass. Gave it up. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Picks off the lazy pass. forward with the ball. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Shot clock is dead. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boys up there. Yeah, that helps. Time out, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the mark with a shot. Oh, my. The screener is leveled by the defender on that pick. Off the rim and no good. This one's heading into extra minutes. Hey, as regulation wasn't enough, Mr. Nestler. At the end of the second half, it's a dead heat. These teams are going into overtime. As we begin overtime, Brad, I knew this was going to be a barn burner. Kicks it out. The small forward takes the pass. Picked out of the air. The center takes the feed. The Ducks have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the dribble, gives it up. Pump fakes. Double team now, bad angle. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He dials long distance, rims out. And he scores despite the hack. There's a high screen for the bucket.
for two. The Ducks have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. Look at that student body. They are going mad. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. The Ducks have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Coming inside! Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Look at that spacing. He's got an open look for the shot. Great defense. Tries for two. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from downtown. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. For the deuce. He puts it in with contact and all. Pushing that basketball. Gave it up. He throws it down court. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. Now they work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Timeout's call. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. From right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. They move it into the front court. Gave it up. Got an open look if he wants it. Had a momentary look from three-point land. They've left him completely alone. A basket here will make this a two-possession game. Easy look. Mel wants the fans to get behind him and his team. He wants everyone up for the next possession. Cross court. Ten seconds to shoot. Definitely a foul. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. The pit is going absolutely berserk. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. And yet another foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. With the freebie. Sinks it. Hits the second. They're nailing 
of three ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. See if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Good teams will get to the line walking. But getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Makes the second shot. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. a little change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place will go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. Well, Dick, what's a backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in the perimeter. They can make it very interesting with a score here. up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. He looks for the bomb. You bet. And the clock stopped with a foul. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I tell the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Go. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Let's get back out on the floor. Launches a prayer. Married it. Oregon loses in overtime. You know, they really showed what they were made of and can come away from this game with a moral victory. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.